Matt Canada, Pittsburgh. Bang, 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 let's go. What Matt Canada has done with the Pitt offense in one season is nothing short of amazing. A year ago, the Pitt offense was ranked 10th or below Matt in Canada, most ACC Pittsburgh. offensive rankings. Bang, bang, this bang, season, bang, bang, under let's Matt go. Canada's what direction, Matt Canada has done with the Pitt Panthers, offense in one season is nothing short of amazing. History. A year Pitt's ago, the Pitt game scoring average has jumped from 28 points a game last rankings. season to this just season, under Matt points Canada's this season. direction. And the Pitt's 2016 Panthers of scoring at least 28 points a game is the longest per game scoring average among his power five programs. 28 points a game last season to just under 40 points. This, this season, their offense and the Pitt's scoring zone, the they scoring at least 28, 28 points a game, is the touchdown longest at Canada's Pitt offense also became the first unit in school no history in to score at least 36 Pitt points in seven straight games. In the scoring Words zone. like they fun and creative the are used to describe the Canada's two percent opportunity offense. Canada's Today, Pitt offense also became the first unit in school history to score at least 36 points in seven straight games. Words like fun and creative are used to describe Canada's equal opportunity offense. Today, a new description for this offensive whiz. Matt Canada of Pittsburgh is a Broyles Award here. finalist. They do a good job making you look good on those videos. I appreciate that. David, Jeff, the Broyles family, thank you so much. This is, it's awesome. I'm sitting there looking at This is an amazing Very thing. humbled to be here, and they do a good job making you look good on those videos. So I appreciate that. So David, that Jeff, and the Broyles family, thank you so much. This what is, you guys are doing, I know It's today. awesome. A fun event, event being the first one, a basic event that we've heard so much about. So we, uh, we appreciate the coaches to be able to come hands. here and now so with your foundation. I need to thank uh, uh, my players first. As it said there, I've been at what Pitt for one year. And, uh, this was a and uh, a fun January event being the first one. I didn't have a job there for a couple of days. So you go from that to where we are today. It's been a pretty up and down season. I need to thank my players first. Those players bought into our system. I've been at Pitt for one year. They allowed us to come in in January put in what we wanted to do. didn't have a job there for a great coach So you go from that to where we are today. It's been a pretty up and down season. Like a slap say, like myself and say, those we're going to change all these things. System. We're going to run jet sweeps. Uh, they allowed us to come in and here and there. put in what we wanted to do. They had a great coach. So they bought in and, and, and Jim very, very indebted to them. To our staff, John Peterson, and myself, we're going to change all these things. We're going to run jet sweeps. It's impressive. It's a great job. Andre Powell, I write that coach, had a big part to do with that. So they bought in and we're very, very indebted to them. To our staff, John Peterson, again, and not one coach, any of them before. Certainly a change happened. Did a great job. Andre Powell. Well, I'm running back coach had a big part to do with that. Kevin yeah, Sherman, change wide receiver now, coach, and they didn't really Salem, have to buy into that, but they did. Again, our and graduate assistants, any of them Dan Gerberry and Dave Bukar, uh, certainly uh, a change Wesley happened. Bichon, they, they and Matt Tom, so those guys are young coaches who, again, are, hey, we're going to change it all now. My fiance Aaron is here tonight, but she calls me to buy into that, but they did. Our graduate assistants, Dan Gerberry and Dave Bukar, and then Coach Narduzzi. And we, we all Matt talked Tom, to so those guys are young coaches last night, the defense again, coaches talked to me a little my bit. My fiance tonight, Aaron is here tonight, but she calls them the dream team. They put up with uh, me every day. So, uh, it, no matter where you are, staff, whether you're an offensive guy or a defensive guy, we all talk if to your boss, coaches, really last anything night, you do, if your boss allows you the freedom to do your job, you have a chance to be successful. And I've known Coach Nardu. No matter where you are, whether you're an offensive guy or a defensive guy, he allowed us to, if your boss, trusted our system, he trusts us to go do what we want to do. If your boss allows you the freedom to do your job, you have a chance to be successful. I don't know if I've known that. Coach Narduzzi that we are that time, creative, but he's a defensive he guy, to score some uh, and he allowed us to. Uh, he trusted our system. Notes, uh, he trusted us to go do what we wanted kids, to do. And Chris, and to that, I've been forever indebted. We had a lot of fun. Me through this I'm not sure that I mentioned that with Aaron, my fiance, but uh, we did find a way to be awesome for this process. And then my personal note: have supported me as a coach. My kids, Tori and Chris, I don't have a fancy name. I didn't have a great pedigree. It wasn't me kind of a player. So for me to work through this, there were some challenges. She's been awesome. David talked about our breakfast. And then my parents. Uh, talked about a story about supported about me as a coach. And I don't have a fancy name. I'm doing the same name. thing, I have coach. a big pedigree. And, and uh, to, kind to of piggyback player. off what you said, for me to work through this, there were some salary. challenges. And then Coach Herman, and, uh, my first salary talked about our breakfast this morning. Well. Coach talked and, uh, about a story about a business school degree from Indiana University. Well, I'm doing the same thing, Coach. Somewhat acclaimed school. And uh, to, to, to piggyback off what you said this morning about your first salary. Interviewed with Ken LaRose and Coach Herman. My first salary is about $5,000 as well. And they allowed me to try to be a coach. We're going to support you, Matt. I Somewhat went and interviewed. And I got the job. I had a master's degree from me. Got the job, Dad. Interviewed with Ken LaRose at Buck. $5,000. My dad's a veterinarian. My mom's a pharmacist. And they allowed me to, $5, to try to be a coach. My dad, he's a doctor. You, he's smart. I for the, went and interviewed. For the I got the job. No, oh, Dad. Got the, the job, year. Dad. I'm going to make $5,000, Dad. But he didn't, you know, my dad chased $5,000 to be a veterinarian. My dad, he's a doctor. He allowed me to do it. But I had to find a way to get it done. 
Oh, yeah, yeah Pete Eagle year. He runs Anheuser-Busch. I haven't thought of it until so a little bit ago thinking of this story. But, but he, he didn't. You know, my dad chased his passion to be a veteran. He didn't say anything. He allowed him to do it. But I had to find well, a way to get it done. Hangs race band. And Pete Eagles. And everything that you do in life is competitive. I would so never have known that hanging race band in Anheuser Busch would be competitive. In so that was my job. Indianapolis 500 on May the 1st. Race is always on well, Memorial Day. Anheuser Busch hangs race banners. And, and everything that you do in life I'm is hanging race banners. I would never have known that hanging race banners in really bad bars. That was my job. I made some money. I was young coaches, Adam Burrell and Craig Hauser. Memorial Day for those of you who don't know. Over the 16th Street Bridge as a sun. I'm hanging race banners. And in bars, and would testify, in and really bad bars, of on they top of things. Light bulb, and I'm with two young coaches, Adam Burrell and Craig Howard. And I'm holding this guy over, over the, 16th the 16th Street, Street Bridge, Bridge because we decided up. this was the and best spot and and to put up this banner to prove we're heights. doing our job, we're going to win. Light bulb, and I'm looking out going, what am I doing? And I'm what holding I was doing this guy was over the 16th coach. Street Bridge because way we decided this, this was the way best spot to get to be put up this banner. We're doing our there job. There we're going to win. All those people and I'm looking in our game. What am I doing? Um, pack our parachutes. What I was doing was finding a way to be a coach. It takes so many people a way to live this, like this dream. Event finding tonight, a way for us to be able to get to be around the greatest game there is. Thank you so much for All those people involved in our game pack our parachutes to allow our players to play, and it takes so many people like this event tonight for us to be able to do what we do. So I'm extremely humbled and honored, and thank you so much for having me.